bands. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to run very simple Bollinger bands. And so let's go ahead and um, create the strategy. So as, uh, as I've always said, it's exactly as you think it. So we're going to say if the price of an asset crosses below the lower Bollinger band, then we want to buy. And if it, when it crosses above the middle Bollinger band, then we want to sell. So let's, let's try this. So if, and I'm going to use my favorite stock at the moment, if Tesla price, and again, you can use the word cross or crosses. For me, I just, for this strategy, we're going to use that. And so if the price is below the lower Bollinger band, um, and let's um, let's use an hour so we can try get quite a few hits in here of Tesla, um, and let's say buy at least one percent. So not only is it crossing, we want it to go further down. Okay, Ivan, good question. Um, we got a good question here. Is it possible to define an entry as high or low of a previous bar on certain time frames or even multiple time frames? It definitely is. Um, even you, anything you can think of, you can define on here. Um, so uh, I'll get into that in a moment. You could even you could even use something what we call a dynamic limit. So you could base an entry. Um, an entry order based on the high or low of a bar or an indicator. Um, and feel free, traders, to use any time frames in a single strategy. I'll show you. I run strategies, I'm running an awesome strategy with three MACDs with three different time intervals, and it's proved to be like amazing. So we'll we'll get into that in a moment. Let's test the strategy first. So if the price crosses below the lower BB of Tesla by at least 1%, then buy 10 Tesla. Very simple. We're not going to put in any condition, any more conditions as of yet. Let's click next. And let's close the position, as I said. We'll close position if Tesla um, is above the middle BB. And let's say by um, by at least uh, uh, 0.25%. Oh no, hold on. Let me let me make that the exact same one an hour. And let's say by at least 0.25%. Uh, okay, so that's simple strategy. Tesla's going to cross the lower BB. The moment it gets one percent below the lower BB, it's going to enter. And the moment it crosses above the middle BB by at least 0.25%, it's going to close the trade. You'll notice that I'm only using one condition here on each. You can use multiple. If you want to use 10 conditions or 50 conditions, go ahead. Um, and you can name your strategy here. I'm not going to bother with that right now. And let's back test this. And while this is back testing, I want to see how quick we can test this over a group of stocks. So we've got one and it's it's 819 now. Let's see, I want to test it over four. So let's go with Google. That's one of my faves as well. Google and Google. And I want to see, and we'll just change that to Google and next. So it's four clicks, back test, control panel, clone, and let's test the next. So let's try get four in a minute. Facebook. Facebook, Facebook, okay. And remember, any word that appears bold, you can change with a click of a mouse. Back test, and let's do one more. Clone, almost there. And let's do um, JD, JD is cool. Okay, JD, great. Okay, we tested there four stocks within a minute. So, and we could probably, you know, you you guys will get faster at this as you go, but we just tested one strategy over four. And 
the way I like to look at it is I go back to my strategies. This is where you can find everything. And we'll just go to my back testing strategies and let's have a look at what we've got here. Um, okay, so uh, it's from here, it's from here. Okay, so okay, Tesla, wow, amazing. So with a simple strategy like this, Tesla gets eight hits at 34%, and we'll open it up so we can go into the chart. Um, and have a look at that strategy. Um, here we got four hits at 5%. Here we got nine hits with Facebook at 8.93. And JD, really nice performance over the past couple of months, um, six hits at 13.27. So we're at the lowest point, we're at 1% plus minus, And at the highest point, um, you know, we're at 3% um, plus, uh, no, actually 4%. Um, per trade. Um, and we'll just go into, and sometimes I just like to open it up on a different window. So we'll go here and um, we'll see the Tesla strategy come out. Um, I'm hoping it's going to come. Maybe it's just quicker to move here. It normally just opens quickly for me. Yeah, that's quicker. Okay, let's close this. Okay, great. So we can see here that, uh, wow. Okay, so this Tesla actually had eight straight winners in a row. You can see the, the, the hits here. If you want to see more detail, you want to compare it to a chart, no problem. Come to the notification panel, have a look at when the time is. Go to your trading view chart or TWS or whatever charts you guys prefer to use and um, have a look that that's exactly what happened. Um, great. So that's an easy way for um, you traders to test strategies and so on. And not only that, you can optimize your strategies. So what I like to do is to test different entries and exits. And normally I like to keep to my entries, but I like to adjust my exits. So for example, let's see if we can get a better Tesla result by cloning it. Um, and I like to clone so I can keep all my strategies. If you traders are editing or rerunning your strategies, you're not going to be able to see them again. You're going to, uh, they're going to obviously disappear into the new strategy. Um, so let's try instead of 0 0.25, let's try 0 0.5. Let's see if we can get better. Um, and we'll back test this. And okay, and I think the other one was 32%, 30, uh, 34% PL. So um, this is an easy way for you to test different ideas. Um, and this is where I come up with my ideas on back testing. Um, as crazy as it may sound, uh, these are the ideas uh, that I come up with. So okay, so it actually it gives us fairly the same. So that doesn't really make a difference, but you can play around um, perhaps if you add another condition as well, perhaps a take profit at some stage, um, you will be able to, uh, you'll, you'll be able to see the results and um, test them.